It's been warm and kind of unsettled over the past couple of days. We've been wrapping up the month of May with temperatures well above the seasonal average in the 80s. And again, today as we kick off the month of June, kind of the same deal. It is meteorological summer and it's going to feel like the middle of summer today with more of that you know, humidity building in and uh, well, some more of those thunderstorm chances to go with that warm sunshine that will help us reach the 80s. Here's time lapse. Yesterday we had some thunderstorms. This is looking at yesterday afternoon. The showers moving out, the sun breaking through and we were in the, the it was 71 here at the studio at, at noon. We had showers. We had a quarter inch of rainfall here at KTTC. A lot less than that at the airport, but once the sun reemerged, we made it back to the mid 80s. 86 was the high temperature yesterday. Today. today we're going to do probably something similar with more of those rain chances right now. Some bright sunshine looking down at Interstate 90 from uh, to the east. That's live in Austin with our Lewis to camera. Showers were in the neighborhood overnight. They've now made their way northward, moving from southeast Minnesota into western Wisconsin. Some more are developing to the south in southern Iowa. Some of those will reach us late in the morning and lasting into at least parts of the afternoon. Not everybody will get it, but there will be hit or miss storm chances once again later today. Temperatures right now in the 60s. A lot of sunshine. Very warm start to the month. We wrapped up May with 80s and the uh, last few days of the month were way above the seasonal average. And so for the month overall, 2023's version of May, we were four and a half degrees above the seasonal average for high temperatures, two degrees above average for the low. So 72 and a half and 49.1 degrees uh, re respectively, the high and low temperature. We had a slight surplus, only about uh, 16 hundredths of an inch of rainfall, the surplus in the rain category and for snow. Happily, happily, none of that to report. We had 86 yesterday for high temperature. We've now fallen from the 70s into the 60s in the overnight hours. Today we start very summer-like, typically to be in the 50s, but here we are at 63 in Rochester at the airport, Austin 68 and Charles City 64. A dew point 59, slight southeast breeze. Just a touch of humidity. We'll see that ramp up through the course of the day, fueling those th isolated storm chances. A few storm chances each of the next few days, especially today and tomorrow, the weekend itself. Not a lot to talk about, so there will be some slightly unsettled weather, but it does look like we'll have some nice windows of opportunity to get out and about and enjoy that summer warmth. There will be some thunderstorms again on Monday, but until Monday, we, we stick with the much above average temperatures, uh, at least at about a dozen degrees above the seasonal average. So rain chances uh, developing north south of the front that's draped across the Hawkeye State. Some of that will migrate northward. We'll see something like that again unfold tomorrow as well. 63 in Rochester. Des Moines 67, 63 in International Falls. Very summer-like uh, uh, readings across the area. Humidity not I intense, but definitely more noticeably muggy than we were even a few days ago. That's going to continue to stick around at least through Sunday or Monday. Isolated storms uh, develop late in the morning and last to the afternoon. High of 86. So very hit or miss activity to go with that warm sunshine. 80s today, 70s this evening, dropping to the 60s in overnight hours. But here's future tracks. Thunderstorms begin to work their way northward. Just a few isolated storms in, in the area for the afternoon and evening. The slight chance of a storm or two or tonight and then tomorrow we see redeveloping those thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening once again. Saturday, slight chance of a shower in the afternoon, but still during the day, a decent amount of sunshine. But late in the day, there's a chance of maybe just a few hit or miss thunderstorms with more of those mid and upper 80s across the map. So today, the rain chances uh, build uh, from lunchtime into the afternoon, but lower half of the scale for the most part in that uh, chance, uh, that probability range. And as for the next three days of rainfall, half inch to an inch overall. So not a ton uh, given the, the amount of rain chances there will be, but a brief uh, thunderstorms, maybe a brief downpour of something a little heavier, but uh, for the most part, hit or miss and we'll be in that range through Monday of next week. Temperature wise uh, until Monday, mid and upper 80s. After that, we cool to the low 80s, but still above average all the way through next week. Today, some sunshine and some storms. High of 86, southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. 65 tonight, still a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Partly cloudy skies. Seven day forecast, warm and humid through the weekend with again a few of those storm chances. And the, those go on until Monday. Then we may be getting a break for a few days, break in the mugginess as well, but still sticking that summer like warmth mm -hmm. uh, for quite some time. Well, that break will feel nice when it comes. Yeah, and next, next Wednesday, <laughs> last day of school for, for a lot of schools mm -hmm. in Rochester. So hopefully it pans out to be what it looks like right now a great day to, nice to play day. outside and frolic in the sun after school. Yes. Start summer. We'll be at that after school party at Ted's house. <laughs> Ice cream cones and hey, yeah. beer and yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, bomb pops. <laughs> All the things. It is.